Hello, I'm here with a new part on the painting tutorial of the of the Star Deck. This is going to be the eighth part, and now we are going to do the saddle before starting with the Celestian Prime. And to do the saddle, I will first paint. You remember that I leave this part unpainted. I will apply gold here. Okay, I will apply the. It's called the Retributor Armor. In that, in the only part that is not painted yet. Okay, just a base color, and I will do the same on the saddle. And I have the saddle saddle now like that. It's not glued, so I will do it here as well. Here we are going to apply the same gold, except on the. So I will do it on on all the saddle except the place where where the the Celestian Prime is sitting. And then I will go for a different color. I need to still to think which color to, to use there. But I will apply this. Of course, the shoes uh, of the armor or the feet of the armor will go with the with the same color that I'm using the armor. That is going to be the the pale green. So I will apply it here on the saddle. I will not show it in camera because it's quite basic stuff. It's just applying a layer. Of retributor armor on all these parts, and I will be back. So once the gold is applied, the next step is we are going to apply the leather on this part of the saddle. Um, we are going to use uh, Dumbul Brown. Okay, the same that we use for all the other brown parts. We're going to apply one layer of that, okay, and I will be back. So once this is dry, what we are going to do is we are going to apply a wash of Alex Air Shade on the gold and on the brown. And we are going to do Of course, the same here on the support of the saddle. So, we are going to do it in two steps because, for, for holding reasons, we will start here with the first the bottom. And later on we are going to do the brown part. The reason is there is no way to hold the piece and do the wash at the same time if you want to do it in all the parts at the same time. Here don't be afraid if you go into the foot. Okay. It's important you supply the wash. I'm going to try to hold it in a position that I can. As you can see, I wash the gold, all the gold is with.
to put a clan here and now see you put a clan there and now you can we are going to put this over here. Now we are going to remove the excess from the part where we have too much wash there here. I don't want to be really super dark. So I'm removing the excess of paint. Same here. So you want the shading, but you don't want really to be this completely brown. Okay. I think now it looks okay. We put in a position where we can let it dry and we are going to be back once this dries. So the wash has been done, it's looking quite good. And the next step I will do, I will apply the green on the shoes. Okay, uh, on the boots, I don't know, on the... And I will use the green that I use for the armor, that is um, silvery green. Okay, so I'm going to use silvery green here. Uh, I will not go into detail how to paint the green. It's the same I use for the armor plates, but I will, I will go more detail when I'm painting the rider. So I will do the green. Uh, I will do all the, the process on the green. And I will be back to you. Um, I will explain this more in detail when I'm doing the armor of the rider. So I applied the green on the shoes, but as I'm doing for all the gold, now I will do a wash of green and I will apply this also on the gold parts of the saddle. So I will start of course because I need to do this wash here. Okay, on the shoes I will only apply it on the armor joints. Well, I call it shoes, but it's not shoes, these are the, the foot of the armor. Okay. And then we are going to do apply the wash also on the gold parts. Because this will give a little bit, will make the gold look a little bit older. And make the shadows deeper. And I've been doing that in all the gold that I'm painting for all my stone cast eternals. Because uh, this gives a little bit of tint of green to the gold that works very well with the rest of the armor. So as you can see it give a very dark can give a very dark I'm sorry, I just pinpoint the parts where I want the gold the green to go, sorry. Okay, as you can see I try to go this is a we are going to clean up this later on. So I try to go just here. Then on the lining, we are going to apply on the middle of the lining. Okay. Try not to apply to put too much and not to make the green too evident. Okay. We are going to apply also here. I will do this part here. I, I will not apply too much on the lion, I don't want to apply. Maybe it's just a little bit here. Okay, then I run this thing. Okay. 
Okay. And then we are going to do the rivets. Almost the gold is a one one part that I really repeat almost the same process all the time. So I will keep doing that and I will be back once this is done. So as you can see now the green gouache have dried and the next step that I'm going to do is we are going to highlight a little bit this brown part. I'm going to use Morphan Brown to start the highlights. Sorry, I prefer to do I prefer to use scrack brown. Okay, and I will have the Dumbul brown also ready just in case I need it. So here is going to be we don't need to do too much work on the, on because most of, most part of the saddle is going to be covered by the rider, but we want to highlight. We are going to do like an edge highlight, right? So we are going to. Here we can go a little bit white, especially here on the top, right? And then we will use the dumble, dumble brown. So it's more the transition. Then we go in with the square brown. We want to keep this strong line between the gold and the brown to keep the contrast. Okay, what we can do is we use the square brown quite thin it, okay, here. Then we use the more from the dumbbell brown and we mix it in this part. Okay. Sorry, I went off camera. <laughs> See if you can put it back on the camera. Okay. So I will repeat here. We start with the scrap brown. And then we use Dumple Brown. We go next to the Scark, Scark Brown, next to the lighter color. Dumple Brown was the base color, but because we did the wash, now it's lighter. We also want, we want to do that to clean a little bit the wash because the wash can look a little bit dirt. Okay. We go back with this crack brown. We highlight this part. Okay. Now we dilute, we take water, then we'll scrap brown. That is my mistake. We are going to.
to go in next to it. Okay. We take more square brown. We do here. Now we use the move round. And now we wait until this dies. So while we're drying, we can do the front part. We are going to use no um, towel like ochre. Okay. With that, we are going just to put a little bit here, for example. Brown. We go next to it and we smooth it. We can add a little bit here. Here and then we use square brown. Do the same here at the back. Well, it's not completely dry, but it's not a, really a, an issue now. Okay. Okay, and then we can do also a little bit on the sides, we'll just start with the wall round here. Just here you want to be, no one, you don't want to highlight too much. Same on the other side. No, it's black brown. And it's quite brown. Okay. And now we can do the gold. And to do the gold, it's more or less what we did on, on all the gold in all the other part. We're going to follow the same. So I will just do very little now. I will not do the green because I explained the green is going to be covered when I do the armor. And here I want I don't want to spend too much time on the gold neither. So to do the gold, 
Again, we are going to use first Auric Arm I. Retributor Armor, what was the base color? Okay. On the parts that we want to highlight. Because we did the wash with um, a goth air shade, the brown now is much darker. Okay. We'll do this part here, and the rest you imagine that is going to be the same way. It can do also this part here. Okay, this is the first step. Then we use Auric Armor Gulp. And with Auric Armor Gold, we are going to increase the brightness. Okay, so the Retributor Armor was a very good base for Auric Armor Gold, but now we are going to increase even more the brightness with uh, our gold. Okay, sorry that put my finger in front. And here the same. So we um okay and on the other side okay and then next, we are going to use. I'm going to use the Stone Coast Silver. Okay, this is one of the new silvers from Games Workshop. It's very light silver. You can use any light silver that you want. And with this silver, we are going to give some accents. For example, here. Okay, and you will see that the silver can look too much bright and even wrong. So what we do is we take Auric Armor Gold, we go a little bit on top to make this silver more yellowish. Okay, the Auric Armor Gold is very transparent. So we'll will work on top of this silver. Okay, we can use a little bit here, a little bit here, okay, and then the rivets we just apply the silver. Okay. We can do the same with the rivets at the back. Remember that to make the rivets pop out is not enough just by highlighting the rivets. So you need to shake correctly the and the zone that is around the rivet. Um, here the same at the back, a little bit of the silver. I go with the Auric Armor Gold and I blend it. Back, we take a little bit of the silver, we put here at the top. Okay, then we take Auric Armor Gold and we blend it. And on the side, silver, auric armor gold, and we blend. And we are going to do this for the full part, so I will keep doing that on all the saddle, and I will be back once this is done. So this is how it looks like after doing the highlights and painting the feet so now the saddle uh, I will consider done we have to consider that most of the part of the saddle will be covered by the rider so yeah I, I will leave it like that and maybe do some fine touches once everything is assembled but now I will finish the saddle here as you can see I start working as well on, on the rider 
uh, this will come on the next tutorial and yeah we uh, I will leave the the work of the saddle here I did all the highlights that I explained on the gold as you have seen and I did the, f the, the armor here but I will explain this better or when I'm doing the the rider so that's all for this part and um, very fast one but after fighting with the tutorial of the wind and having a lot of problems to edit I prefer to keep it shorter for the next one so that's all for now I hope you find it interesting and this part is finished and get ready because now we go to the part the next part that is the rider so then yeah please leave your comment below let me know what do you think like if you have liked it and yeah and if you want to support me you I also have a Patreon account where you can support my channel and all the money uh, I get from the Patreon is to is going to be reinjected in the channel in different ways. So that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye.